Welcome. In front of me is a dodgy S40 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now as you've just seen, uh, there is the verification pattern just popped out on the screen. So the phone is locked and that is one of the ways I can unlock it. I can also use the Google account instead. And you can also see this little lock right here in the status bar just to signify that the device obviously is locked. Now for the bypass itself, we will need a SIM card. I have one right here. And the SIM card needs to have some kind of contact on it. It doesn't really matter if that contact is real or not. It just needs to have something. So let's just start off by backing out all the way right here. And I'm going to lock the device because I want to pop this thing out. There we go. And I'm going to insert that SIM card in. Now additionally you will see a, a pin for the SIM card as you can see. There's nothing right now, it will show up the moment I insert my SIM card. There we go. So I'm going to confirm the pin so I can actually use the SIM card. There we go. So once you have your SIM card inserted, you want to go to emergency call, then emergency information, tap on that twice. You want to tap on the pencil and select add contact. This will show you all the contacts that are on your SIM card. If you don't have any, pop it into a different phone, I'll load it up with some kind of contact on there that you can save on the SIM and then pop it back in here. Anyway, from here I'm going to select just contact. There we go, as you can see it added it. Now you want to tap on that contact. And from here we're going to, what is it, I think, yep, we're going to tap on the three dots and select share. Not there we go, share and continue. And this will bring up a couple options which, in which we can share it with. So what you want to do is hold Gmail and then select up info. So once you have that going, we're gonna now select, let me just quickly check, and select notifications. Then you're going to choose advanced and additional settings in the app. And then tap on it three dots and go to help and feedback. And then and describe your issue, you want to type in MO. This will bring up option called use Morse code as a suggested one. I'm going to click on it. Click on a video as well. This will load up the video and then give you those three dots right over here. When you tap on those, you then want to choose watch later, which opens up either a web browser or YouTube. In this case, it's web browser. So we're going to select accept and continue. No thanks. And then right at the top here, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I will write it down and you can pause the video if you need a moment to write it down yourself. So now would be the time to pause. From here you want to scroll down and tap on your settings. Oops. Okay. Settings. This opens up your phone settings. And from here, you want to scroll down to. Let me quickly make sure. Security and location. Then below, under advanced, you will see screen pinning. So you're going to tap on that. Enable it and also make sure you enable lock device when unpinning and what this will do is give you an option to set up a screen lock So you can choose whichever one you want uh, Pin pattern password doesn't really matter. I'll be sticking with a pin for this moment. I usually uh, when I do videos I 
set up a pattern. So I want to keep it something entirely different so people can't really, so, so people won't expect this to, you know, me using the same pattern. Uh, so anyway, a secure startup, no. So in here there is a pin. Uh, I do recommend you to set up the same way. It's gonna be easier for you or for me to tell you what you need to put in throughout the process. So what I'm gonna be choosing is one, two, three, four. Fairly simple, but it doesn't matter. And again, one, two, three, four to confirm it. And it is now set. So once you have set up your uh, pin, like I did, what you want to do is, see do we, yep. So once it's set, as you can see, I'm gonna hold par key and select restart. Additionally, we can also remove that SIM card while the device is rebooting. There we go. So what we just done is basically we overrid the previous uh, the previous screen lock that was uh, that we needed to use as a verification. So as you can see it comes up with a pin so one two three four and as you've seen there was a pin before. Uh, if you don't remember you can go back to the like basic beginning of the video where it showed up. So anyway from here we're gonna just simply go through the setup as we did before or at least as I did before and right here as you can see it's no longer verify your pattern it's verify pin and the pin is one two three four the one that I have chosen for the uh, secure wait no it wasn't secure the screen pinning so once I tap on the arrow, it basically accepts the pin and lets me finish up setup. Now I'll mention one thing. There is still a chance that the device is locked. You can even see there is still a lock on it. So this is just kind of like a band-aid solution right now. So this will allow us to finish up the setup and have access to settings with full access to all the actual settings that are in that application. Because normally if, uh, if we would have wanted to do this, uh, as an example, when I opened up settings through Hard Reset Info website, if you, as you remember, uh, it wouldn't give us, it wouldn't have give us all the options there. So now, once you have access to the home screen, you want to simply open up your settings Oh, there we go, there it is. Settings, then scroll all the way down to System, select Advanced, Reset Options, Erase All Data Factory Reset, Reset Phone, Pin, obviously one, two, three, four, and then choose Erase Everything. This will go through a factory reset of your phone, so this will again take about like three, four minutes to finish up, and once it has, you'll be back in the setup screen. But performing a factory reset of the device through settings removes any kind of leftover from like all the devices. So pin will be removed, uh, Google accounts removed. So once this is finished, the device is fully unlocked and there is nothing left over, left over from the old user. And obviously you can then set up your device however you like. I'm not gonna go through it on the video just because it shows just because it doesn't show anything extra. It is just a factory reset which is fully automated and then setup screen which you can go through however you like. So all you need to do is tap on erase everything and bypass is finished. And that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.